Welcome back around, Costine here on Serious Gaming, continuing my walkthrough on the legendary difficulty of Total War Shogun 2. No, I'm uh, just a few videos in, and this is certainly a hell lot more exciting than playing the Venetian campaign in Medieval, du Medieval 2 Total War. Um, much more challenging, much bigger battles, yeah. And more people to fight in general. The Mgawa clan, let's see if they accept. Please. Yeah, they did accept trade. Okay, because they're smart and they know what they want. It would seem the Hojo Navy was blockading that port, which is now my port. What I'm gonna do is take with Sugi Kenshin and his army. Take his army uh, south. Oh, wait, by the way, I will. Take that archer unit. Two more turns until no one is done. Okay, let's end it. The Satomi. Uh, yeah, I can deal with them. The problem is they're red ally there to the north of Japan. I really dislike the way the map is put here, however, in the sense right here, it's rather annoying all things concerned. Okay, so, I have uh, major food issues and these guys are certainly not making things easier. Okay, you've uh, leveled up. Hmm. Not really interested in that right now. Though I am interested. And seeing what these guys have to, uh, I if it can work out or right there. What do the Hojo clan want? With who are they at war? Oh boy. Don't tell me they're fucking turning on me. <laughs> Great. Okay. Right, great. So my allies control the routes there. Well, my allies are at least doing something, I suppose. I guess I'll have to take all with the Tokugawa and the Mgawa. Maybe even the Hojo clan. Well, uh, Tokugawa are allies, well, vassals of these guys, so... If I declare war on them, I can declare war on the Mgawa without pissing the Hojo clan off. At least hopefully. Okay. End the turn anyway. Let's see what happens. Hopefully my food problems will be solved. Soon enough because the... Because there's some problems here with happiness right now. Okay. I'll have to deal with the Date clan though. Um, I guess two armies right now would do the thing.
my plan is to deal with the Asai. Where the hell are they anyway? Ooh, okay. So, uh... Alright. What about the Saito? Well... Fuck you, then. <laughs> oh, I see. So that's the best place to be in. Okay. Let's get some Yari Cavalry right here. And meanwhile, more units as well. Huh. Right. Well, wait for the turn to end also. Get more archers right here. Strategy of attack. Still need the food. I'm building. Uh, right now there's farms under construction. Once they're done, food problem will be solved. I hope, <laughs> at least. Okay. Ooh. Ojo clan is pissed off at me for whatever reason. Please speak honestly, and I will give you. What the hell's up with you? Well, gr great. Guess who I'm gonna have to face? Not entirely successful, but successful enough to get those samurai on my side. So how many territories do I hold right now? I just need to take Kyoto. Okay. And about... Great. <laughs> 17 more territories. Even if I deal with the Date, with whom I'm at war with right now. By the way, the Satake are they at war with the Date? Yes, they are actually. So let's use that to our advantage. Now, and make an army that uh, of katanas, no cavalry for it, but you know, I'm gonna get some cavalry. Okay, Kenshin. Mgawa. It's a bit weird that they only trade with me, but whatever. The Tokugawa. Hold that province right there. Need more troops, by the way. The Stomi will fall. Okay. In the turn. Am I supposed to be surprised? Can say I am. Oh, the Mgawa did not go to war against me. Well, that's a good thing for me, not so much a good thing for the Mgawa. <laughs> and I say that. That was the Tomi army right there. Oh, that's not gonna be a problem in the near future. Kenshin will have to deal with it with uh, the Hojo army. The Hojo stack, as it were. 
on his own. I am not entirely convinced that he can. Hmm. Well, he'll have to do his best. And I'll have to hope that he doesn't fall flat on his face. That's all I can do. Where's my agent? Oh, by the way. Goodbye, mate. You stood no chance against me. Anyway. That they are gonna be a problem, by the way. Okay. Let's see. These guys will go right there. Fairly easy. And my food supply problem is fixed as well. Um. Hmm. Let's get that. Need siege weapons anyway. Yeah, whatever. Not really gonna bother with the fleet personally. Why would I need one? Waste of resources. And that's gonna be the critical battle this campaign. Or maybe not, <laughs> it would seem. If the Hojo decide to go for North Shinano, I'm in a bit of a pickle, as it were. Can't do much to stop them. Oh, I could try and fight them, certainly. That's an idea, I guess. I'm hoping... Yeah, the Datic clan has a few problems. Let me just put it like that. Hmm. I am uh, a bit wary of uh, attacking the massive Hojo army. Not that right now I have much of a choice to be honest. Okay, let's uh, well, you know what, I have a lot of money, so let's try and bribe it. Of course, it's not gonna work. Okay, next turn I take that town. Might have to uh, fight the Hoja army itself. Okay. Actually, yeah, get that. Building an army to deal with the Date clan. Might also want to build some ships, I think. So we can build ships. <laughs> Can't. Because I have no. Or actually, I can. You know, just nothing too fancy. Actually, let's go for the bigger ships. You know, just at least a bigger ship. <laughs> Don't want my entire army to go to fucking hell. Do I? Okay. <clears throat> well, I'm not really on. Ooh, I see. Well, 
not really surprising given that we're talking about the fucking Hojo clan, but I do have more archer power than they do. Which should give me a distinct advantage against them. Besides, I have a nice fortress up here. The biggest concern I have right now is time. I have until what, 1590 until you know, to accomplish my objectives. But, well, 38 years, more or less. That said, Kyoto is not that far. Hmm. Considering the garrison Wait, I'm mixed up uh, settlements. Damn it, I. Where the fuck is the north? <laughs> I just. Well, let's assume for the sake of it that the north is there. That means he'll attack here and attack here. I hope. Could use those fire arrows, by the way. Our general is in great danger, my lord. How am I supposed to? What the fuck? Shit. And these guys certainly aren't fucking around, they're attacking from every possible direction. I'll just move the general on this side. Okay then. The Hojo clan, the masters of siegecraft. Oh, they certainly live up to their reputation. Oh shit. Put these guys right there. One problem with Darth Mod. Ouch. One problem with Darth Mod, it doesn't take into account castle sizes. Yeah, you know, bigger, larger unit sizes. Sure, that sounds nice in theory. Except when you remember that castles were designed to accommodate a certain number of units. Okay, now shoot the bastards. And leave none of them alive. Here comes the lag. My archers are still shooting at the enemy. And they they will continue shooting us until I order not to. Okay. Holy shit, man. The lag is incredible. I want to save those samurai units, by the way. Just those guys. It did seem everyone and their dog has fucking fire arrows. Sure, go ahead, do that. Kill your own fucking men. Congratulations. Yeah. Damn it, fall back. Waste of warrior monks. Good. Warrior monks. Okay. One tower is at risk right there. It's an animation lag.
gate is still shut, as it were. Okay. Massive <laughs> amounts of sodding lag. I don't know who's gonna win this one. Send these guys into the fray right there. You guys are fighting hard by that tower. The Hojo units are retreating. They've got a lot of cavalry right there on that side. They could send it in, I suppose. Let's come at those Yari Ashigaru. Go fuck yourselves. Not I'll deal with you myself. Okay. Closure units will die right there. Hmm. I believe that's pretty much the whole army. All coming up up there. Unless I missed something. Well, I certainly did miss all those generals and those that are cavalry unit. Go down, boys. Kill the bloody bastards. They deserve no mercy. Go, go, go. Kill him. Okay. I think this is gonna be a bad idea, but well, hold on a second. Why waste that cavalry? <clears throat> okay, break them. This is where the core, <laughs> the main battle is being fought right now. My units against theirs. The general sitting comfortably right there. Okay. I'm not interested in killing them right now. I have uh, more important things to deal with. Such as sending a force to actually deal with those fucking uh, catapults. And those cavalry units as well. Okay. They've broken. What the hell? Why can't you shoot so far? Well, siege units, I guess. No, I'm not interested in that. That's the domain of the infantry. The domain of the cavalry is to deal with the siege units. All the infantry will come to support them. Fly, you fools.
Gotta appreciate that fire there. <laughs> Not sure if it's in vanilla like that or it's because of the mod. Probably because of the mod, I guess. Ah, it's ceasefire. You're wasting ammo and you're probably killing your own men. Okay. Catapults taken care of. What the? I, I really really don't get this one anyway catapults have fled that said starting to get in to trouble right here Oh, so their generals have been committed to the battle. Oh, I see. Now that's why I couldn't attack the cavalry right there. Because their cavalry was actually not there. Their cavalry had already dismounted and had decided to move in. Okay then. Send them for the burning entrance. the Hojo hard and fast. Charge, my boys. My lord, their general has fallen. Great. Excellent, most excellent. Can't even look at the battle because of the lag, but excellent. That's what they call a pitch siege battle. Could I have, could I have won this battle in the open? Maybe, I don't know. Perhaps. Yeah. Decisive victory against the Hojo. Excellent. And with that, pretty much I've. Uh, I'll win the war against the Hojo. The Date and Stake clans. Hmm. They probably bled each other. Oh yeah! Thank you! Only lost some Mashigaru units. So who gives a shit? You know, samurai tradition aside, I find it unbelievable that the Japanese would never capture anyone alive. That's, that's just ridiculous. Someone would have to surrender at one point or another. I think. <laughs> Obviously, you know, Japanese leaders, that's one thing. That's something I can accept, but... This, eh. Anyway. Hello there. Okay. Questine here on Sirius Gaming signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more.